Health is shaped by the actions and behaviours of individuals and communities. Individuals, health workers, policy makers and government leaders make decisions every day which affect people's health. Strategic communication is a field of technical expertise which can help to shape these decisions. Communication can influence whether somebody takes up or quits smoking. Communication can help a parent decide to get their child vaccinated. Communication can be a key determinant of the health and well-being of women in a remote community. Communication that understands the audience, the drivers of their behaviour, and communication which is understandable, accessible, credible, relevant, actionable and timely can improve awareness, shift attitudes, change policies and behaviour, ultimately contributing to better health. The digital age has profoundly changed the way people engage with each other and the world. The majority of people in most countries now get their news from the internet and social media rather than traditional news channels. Many have easy access to information and advice from online peer groups and influencers. Information and misinformation is shared and received at unprecedented speed. The pace of information flow, the rise of online influencers and declining trust in governments and institutions presents both challenges and opportunities for WHO and member states in the Western Pacific region. At the same time, the evidence base for effective communications is expanding. Governments, civil society and the private sector are increasingly using behavioural insights, data collection and evaluation to make smarter investments in communications that lead to demonstrable health improvements. This changed landscape demands that we, WHO and our member states, also change how we communicate. Communicating more strategically requires moving away from a focus on outputs, products and activities and towards a focus on the outcomes and impact of communication. We need to focus more on communication which targets a particular audience for a specific purpose and responds to real barriers or gaps in understanding or behaviour to contribute to a specific change. Targeted, evidence-based, measurable and impact-driven. These are the principles at the heart of what we call Communication for Health, or c for h By working together to scale up c for h we can help make the Western Pacific region the healthiest and safest region in the world.